Good evening, everybody. It's Zechariah from Running for Heroes. Sadly, tonight for our second and final mile, we are running for a fallen fire captain who have lost his life in the line of duty. Tonight, I'm running for fallen fire captain Stephen McCann. He worked with the Los Angeles County Fire Department in California, and his last alarm was February 9th of 2022, and lost his life after suffering an apparent heart attack while about to leave to a call. He was 48 years old at the time of his passing, serving 17 years as a firefighter, and leaves behind a loving family. Tonight I'm running with the red line flag in his honor. I'll be doing seven laps around the track loop at my school, which is the equivalent of a mile in his honor. And I'll be joined tonight by many first responders and my whole family who are joining us in this run tonight. Before the run starts, I'm going to a quick prayer in honor of his whole family and department through the hard time they are going through, and then I'll be on my way. For those tuning in tonight, tonight Zachariah running his second mile of the evening, this mile in honor of fallen fire captain Stephen McCann. He worked with the Los Angeles County Fire Department in California, his last alarm, February the 9th, 2022, tragically losing his life after suffering an apparent heart attack just after being called out for an emergency call. 48 years old at the time of his passing, having served a total of 17 years as a member of the Los Angeles County Fire Department leaves behind a loving family. Sadly, this is not the first loss for this agency. In the past few months, they've lost a few first responders. This run tonight, however, to honor the most recent line of duty death, Fire Captain Stephen McCann. We are always so appreciative of the various local agencies that continually come out to help honor our fallen heroes alongside Zechariah. Tonight, helping to pay tribute to fallen fire captain Stephen McCann, we have a member of our home county agency, the Seminole County Sheriff's Office, patrolling behind Zechariah. And running with Zechariah tonight, as she always does, Zechariah's little sister, Chloe. Again, we're here today to pay tribute to a 17-year veteran of the LA County Fire Department, fallen fire captain Stephen McCann. Tragically, on February the 9th, 2022, he suffered an apparent heart attack just as he was getting a call for an emergency. 48 years old at the time of his passing, once again, having served 17 years as a veteran of this agency, and he leaves behind a loving family. Zechariah now completing his second of seven laps, which is one mile tonight, to honor the life of Fire Captain Stephen McCann. For every mile that's completed by Zechariah, he carries a unique flag. Each flag is sent to the family of the hero that he runs to honor. The flag he carries tonight, this red line flag, will work its way to the family of fallen fire Captain Stephen McCann, along with a note that Zechariah wrote earlier in the day. If you would like information on how you can be part of this mission, visit running the number four heroes.org. We'll also do a follow-up post a little bit later in the evening with details on how you can be a part of this mission. As Zechariah completes lap number three, Starts lap number four. I'm going to go silent and I'm going to remain silent for the duration of the run. So we reflect on the life of this 17 year veteran of the Los Angeles County Fire Department, fallen fire captain Stephen McCann. We extend our thoughts and our prayers to his family as well as everybody with the Los Angeles County Fire Department mourning the loss of this hero. We thank him for his 17 years of service. May we never forget fire captain Stephen McCann.
Zachary, any final words tonight for the family of fallen fire captain Stephen McCann? To the whole family of fallen fire captain Stephen McCann, uh, the whole entire department of the Los Angeles County Fire Department in California, as well as this whole entire family, we hope you all heal very soon to the passing of your loved one. Fire Captain McCann was a 17-year veteran of his department. He was only 40 years old at time of his passing, and sadly, he was a another victim to a heart attack in our firefighting um, line of duty deaths. Um, I say this every single time. We unfortunately have to run for a firefighter who loses their life from a heart attack, um, but I'll say it again. Um, being a firefighter is a hard job. You have to go to many different calls with lots of um, huge gear on, lots of calls, like just like in their name, are have, them having to go to fires, some intense heat type calls, and the stresses of being a firefighter are really high. And sadly, it's causing us to lose lots of firefighters from heart attacks every year. But what I do know, whenever we have to run for another one who lost their life from a heart attack, is that they must have put their all into their, their last few hours of calls. They tried their hardest, no matter how they were feeling, they made sure to keep everybody safe in their community. And I bet that's no different with firefighter or fire captain McCann. If you are part of the family, we'll be sending you the shoreline flag. We're gonna have it tonight in your hero's honor very soon, as well as a handwritten note that I've already written and is ready to be sent out in your hero's name. There is absolutely no preference on what we want you to do with the flag or the note, but whatever you decide to do with it, we hope it brings you comfort whenever you look at it or think about it. If all of you tonight like join us in now two things. First of all, a 21 second moment of silence, just like the 21 gun salute, each second day can one amazing thing Fire Captain McCann did during his life, including as a fire captain in his community. Um, following that will also be a prayer. So if all of you please now bow our heads and joining us in this 21 second moment of silence, please do right now. Dear God, tonight we came out here to run for a fallen fire captain who lost his life in the line of duty. He's another victim to a heart attack, and God watch over the whole entire family and department through the hearts of Mary going through. Heart attacks are unexpected, and the family and department have definitely no time to, to prepare for them. So God, watch over everybody with the Los Angeles County Fire Department through the hearts of Mary facing, and keep everybody safe over there as they continue to go through this hard year losing um, numerous first responders. God, thank you for keeping all of our first responders safe out there. And into this week, into the rest of this uh, three-day weekend for many people, continue to keep our firefighters safe who are continuing to serve on the front line throughout these holidays. Thank you again, God, and in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Thank you all for joining us in these two runs tonight. Um, the last four runs we've done have been all for firefighters. Um, so say your prayers for them. Um, they have been almost numerical to uh, our officers with losing their lives in the line due this year, and it's definitely been a hard year for them. So continue to keep them in their prayers and all of our first responders as we come into uh, our three-day weekend for many people tomorrow. We hope you all have a great and safe night, especially if you're a first responder working tonight. And I pray God blesses you all.